Welcome back to Keeper RL in the World of the Mist. We can see here Clarice, the Kieran Slayer, is wandering around her house. You know, maybe she'll whip a minion or two. Uh, today's plan is to first select Alchemical Conversion. I want to thank everybody who voted in the poll. It was overwhelming towards Alchemical Conversion, but that's what happens when you only have a few votes. You can see up here on the screen that people did vote, and that's what we're going to go with. So let's select that. Chemical conversion, so we're gonna figure out how to transform materials, one material into another, hopefully getting some gold. And uh, since we are limited, unless we go down and risk the lava golems, uh, we are gonna also probably try to convert stuff to adamantium. Meanwhile, the other thing I wanna do today is take our warriors and split them into kind of two different teams. One, a defensive team, and the other, an offensive team. We already have the vampires and some of the harpies guarding in various guard spots, but because Gracesia, the elementalist, has been triggered, I want to be able to go out on the map but also not worry about rushing back if there's a problem, so I'm trying to be a little bit more deliberate with the way I manage our troops, since, you know, I usually take everybody out and, you know, most of them just sort of sit there or don't get to actually participate in the attacking. Let's see, so we only have one guard guard one spot here. So I think we start by expanding that guard area so we always have two vampires up here. If we go down to, I believe it is level 23? Yeah, 23, we've got harpies sitting here because I was concerned about the lava golems coming up from the floor below here, but they're not gonna do that. So we can get rid of this guard zone so we'll go ahead and do that. And now the harpies and the skeletons that are assigned to zone two will just go about their merry way. And I'll come up with something a little bit different to protect our base. Okay, let's start by taking a look at our existing kind of offense team. This will be our offense team. Wow, Clarice has 45 kills. What? Oh, oh wow, I didn't even realize that you could see who they had killed. That's pretty neat. Wait a second. Second row down, is that the blacksmith? No, 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 that's a dwarf. Okay, anyway, so, sorry, I got a little distracted there. So let's see, who do we want in our party for, I, I think it's probably better to say for defense. So let's take this priest, Lurbuzz, out, and uh, why don't we take, let's see, are you, you, you're not a slayer. Do we have any slayers? No, I think most of our, oh, bandit slayer. Okay, we're gonna put bug rock. In fact, what we'll do is, come to think of it, I guess I don't have to operate that way. We can take Lurbuzz and put them in a new team. And then we're gonna go back to Shaman and Bugrog, new team. Uh, so, and then I'm, I think I'm just gonna attempt to drag here. Uh, I think if we bring, why don't we put Bogog, Bogok on our defensive team. So this will be our defensive team down here. Uh, this team is supposed to be for fighting the lava golems, but I might I might disband that team. Okay, so as I add people to the defense team, which is team three down here, I'll remove them from our offense team. Um, we have now what's the difference between these skeleton archers? Oh I see. There oh I see. There's just two of them. I thought they were a group. Uh do we want to bring skeleton archers with us? You know, I don't think we do. I'm gonna put them in the defensive team. And I'm gonna rely on harpies to do most of our range damage. Uh, that means bringing Karak and Mazarab, who are two of our super harpies. Super harpy being a technical term. Rock. Why do we only have one werewolf here? Oh no, we don't. We have three. We're we're missing a werewolf. Wait a minute. Oh, we are. Okay. I'm just gonna set up the teams, and then I'll come back when the teams are set up. Welcome back. I was in the middle of creating the offense and defense teams when this came up. Gracija, the elementalist, is demanding 80 gold for not attacking us. So this is actually, I mean, in some cases I would agree to this, but this is actually ideal because I was setting up our defensive team so that she could come attack us and we didn't need to worry. So no, I'm not going to accept this. We're going to let her come and we're going to try and beat her up. So here we go. Okay, we're going to pause. Here she comes. Here she comes. 
So we don't even need to set up these offensive and defensive teams anymore, although I, I still want to do it. So this is interesting because now that I've done this, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure which team to activate. My normal inclination is to just throw everybody at it. And you've seen that if you've been watching my other episodes. I don't want to do that. I want to be a little bit smarter with the way we allocate our troops, uh, which is obviously why I was creating the offense and defense teams. So I'm going to leave this team that was supposed to be offense as uh, the way it is, and I'm going to leave the defense team this way. And so I'm going to activate the offense team, and we'll see how the rest of these guys who are not part of the offense team behave, because it's not like they're going to sit there and not attack. And some of these vampires are going to be up here guarding. See that? So let's let's just give this a shot. So we're going to control Clarice. And we're going to bring her up to ground level. And we are going to sit right here. And see, what would be neat is if we could open this door and see out. Actually, I'm going to move her. It'd be neat if we could open this door and see out, but we can't. And there's boulder traps in here, and we've got gargo gargoyles along here. So let's... There she is, Grace Seija. Let's see how things go. So I'm just passing some turns. Okay, Grace Seija is just sitting there. What's she doing? Do we think she's attacking? We can see because we've got our eyeball out here that something. Oh, vampire eats a steaming pig. Look at that, the vampire warrior eats a steaming pig. Okay, so we've got a problem here because Grace Seija is not attacking us. Everybody's happy up here. What are you doing? Nash Tank, you're standing there by a... Okay, I'm not sure what to do here. Why are you not attacking us? Should I bring somebody out to taunt her? I wonder if that would work. How buff is she? I mean, she's not... She's not super buff. I'd love to actually order her capture. Yes. We can't capture these guys, can we? These are all, yeah, these are all spirits or elementals and stuff. Okay, we've, we've so we've set Grace Seiji to be captured. You know, should I be cocky and just take Clarice out there? I'm not sure how to handle this. I don't want to get in front of our boulder traps, but then Grace Seiji is not coming to attack us. She's just sitting there. So how can we snipe at her? I could, let's see, invisibility, defense bonus for 30 turns. I'm going to turn that on. Speed. Okay, we'll, we, we could use that. Is it advanced teleport? I'm kind of inclined to take Clarice advanced teleport out here and have her snipe at Grace Seija. Range is 12. It seems extremely risky though. What if we take one of our wizards and try and do that? Let's switch this leader. Oh, what are you still doing down here? Do you have advanced teleport? You do. Let's take you up to ground level. You're in this maelstrom somewhere here. Is this a spirit of... Yeah, it's a spirit of Cornelia. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Why can't we see Grace Seija anymore? Okay, well, we're going to risk this this dude. Uh, range 8. Oh, that's too close. Damn it. Okay, we're disbanding. I'm going to take control of this wizard. Okay, we're going to control Bugdush, and we're going to walk Bugdush out here. What is that noise? Oh, are they beating on our doors? Because we don't have... I think they are. I think they are because... Okay, hold on. Okay, we're going to... Can we lock this door? No, I don't want to add to team. No, I don't want to add to team. Okay, hold on. Exit control mode. Lock door. I can't lock the door because there's a dude there. She is attacking. I think she's beating on our doors. So we're going to go back to taking control of Clarice. And we're just going to wait. We'll see what happens. I'll be patient. Clarice... Head on up, please. Yeah. Great. Okay, all you guys... Uh, I should have forbid that zone. Okay, yes, they did knock down our... Yes, they did knock down our door or our gate. So let's see what happens. You hear a heavy boulder rolling. You hear another heavy boulder rolling. Yes, this is, this is excellent. I can't tell who... I can't tell who is a bad guy. <laughs> There's so many dudes. I gotta think about our, our entrance. I mean, we want it to be... We want it to be resistant, you know, and choke pointy, but it also makes it very difficult for us to attack. I was thinking the other day about maybe creating some kind of way of coming out behind front door attackers. Oh, look, they have they have set fire. 
but I am not worried. Yeah, let him... Is that a vampire? Is this our... What are you doing? Okay. Oh, oh. You are part of our team. Okay, sure. Let's add you to the team right now. You can always remove the vampires later. And then we're going to switch leader. And I'm going to go to... Oh, are you blind? You are blind. Also, it's... Oh, it's nighttime, so they can go outside. I don't want our guys coming here. So, in fact... Okay, no. Let's, let's switch back. Boy, I, I'm not really sure what to do. Switch leader. I'm going to let that vampire go. Yeah, that vampire is down. You know what? You know what? Hold on. I am going to add all these guys to our team. Yeah, this this is this is not great. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to exit control mode. We lost a vampire. We're going to stay paused. And we're going to create a new team that is everybody. Like I normally have. Because this way they will not just run off and attack the attackers and let our boulder traps do their job. So my best laid plans of trying to create an offense and defense team have just gone completely out the window, unfortunately. If there's a better way to control all the minions and keep them from doing stupid stuff, uh, I'm all ears because I'm not sure how I would do it because I really don't want them even out here. I guess I could forbid zone it, but that's not quite what I want. So now we're going to... Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. I did the wrong thing. Okay, I'll be back when I've created the team properly instead of a bunch of new teams. We're back now. I'm I'm activating this entire team. And that will hopefully get our minions that are out here back in through this door. Because we want our boulder traps to do the work here. And if we lose some of them, too bad. I mean, I fully expect to be able to beat Gracieja, but I'm going to let her... Yeah, sh go ahead. Keep summoning. Keep summoning. Here she comes. Look at that. There she is right there. Got that capture order on her. Meanwhile, our people are kind of partying up here. Are these our imps? Why are our imps going out there? What are you doing? Uh, they're fixing the door. Okay, this technique is not working. We're going to send... Who are you? Bugrod. We're going to take control of you. Whoop, 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 whoop. We're going to take control of you, and you are going to shoot. Yes. Oh, oh, Gracieja, you are going down. Do you? Are you wielding a weapon? Okay, so now this is interesting. So I shot her twice. She's going down, but now I, I actually want to capture her, because look at her, her alchemy uh, ability. So... I'm concerned that if if Bugrod smacks her, uh, she's going to die. You know what? Forget it. Let's go. She is alive. She is alive. It's alive. It's alive. We defeated her. So now we're going to stop. Oh, sorry. Now we're going to exit control mode. Oh, we don't want Chase on either. Exit control mode. We killed all these elementals. We captured Gracieja. We lost one unicorn and one vampire and now and now we've got elementalist we're going to take her prisoner she is our prisoner amazing amazing so now we're going to select her and we're going to allow her she does not need to haul no what she actually i don't want her digging or constructing but i do want her crafting yeah i do want her crafting and she could be tortured and whipped and executed of course uh, I don't need her doing labor either. She's allowed to sleep. We're going to let her sleep. She's really just going to be our primary lab person. Well, that was exciting. We triggered... Oh, I'm going to butcher this name. We triggered Langus Jukelslardal, <laughs> the dragon, based on our population and aggression, but that's to be expected. We also triggered yet another name I'm going to butcher, Hal Shoradal Shinra. No, that's not right. Hal Shoradal... Shire. Yes. Very good. Uh, it looks like a white dragon, and this is a red dragon. Okay, let's uh, pillage. So these are our things, right? Unsurprisingly. Well, that was amazing. Pretty excited about that. What I want to do now is not be... Okay, we're going to leave it on normal speed. Everybody's going to fix this stuff back up. What are you guys doing? Okay, you guys fix all that stuff up. Now we've got all these teams... It's crazy. 
Wow, we got a ton of experience for beating her. We're almost ready to advance to another level. So everybody can relax. I want to... We keep an eye out for the dragon. Let's see, what can I learn from that? Besides the fact that I'm not so sure I like the way our entrance is. I'm going to go up to our airy. And I'm going to stop messing around. And create more uh, quarters for new harpies. We're going to get that done. These... Oh, this is locked, so they can't get out there. So let's unlock this door. How are we doing on imps? Okay, we're, we've got a full... Oh, okay, we're under attack by Langus Drukal Sardal, the red dragon. Okay, hold on. He has set fire here. Well, okay. Okay. Let's activate our whole team again. It's still night for another 600 turns. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. As boring as it may be, I want to be a little cautious. I'm going to select Clarice. I'm going to control her. I'm going to have her go up to ground level. She's going to stand by this door. And we're going to see what happens with this dragon. Okay, our boulder traps are in action. <laughs> so, the dragon, who we currently can't see, tripped the boulder traps. But of course, this dragon's flying. So it is not getting caught in our webs. Okay, let's take a look at it. Langus Jukul Sardal, the red dragon. He has a couple of glyphs on him and 147 gold. He is happy, regenerating, immune to fire, flying, resistant to capturing, but he can be a steed. So of course we are going to order his capture. I mean, that's just a given. And wait, what are his, he's not even that buff. So unless he has some minions, we're gonna myrtleize him. Wait, what, what are you doing? Craftily, what are you doing out here? Oh crap. No, we need, why are you out here? We're gonna add you to the team. Oh, craftily. Okay, we're going to switch leader, and we're going to back craftily off. We need her. I mean, we don't 100% need her, but I don't, if we have another prison break, we could be in trouble. Okay, so now craftily, we're going to remove you from the team. I don't believe I can do anything to her. Like, I can't change her priorities. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually exit control mode. I'm going to go find craftily. That's her. I'm going to change her activities. She can... Oh, rituals. Hey, has that always been there? Why was she out there? We don't even have her crafting. What is she doing? Well, I almost want to just tell her go to like guard zone 2 and then... Eh, it doesn't matter. Forget you craftily. Let's go back to our warriors or our battle group. Okay. We hear another heavy boulder rolling. Clarice is right here. I'm going to stand in the door so we can see what's happening. I still don't see the dragon, whose name I'm not going to attempt to pronounce. What are you? Ogre spirit. Cool. These spirits are so neat. Okay. Langus Drudla blah blah blah, the red dragon. I don't even know if boulder traps can hit flying creatures, but I'm still going to wait for him to come to us. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, okay. Oh, what is this? He duplicated himself somehow. Okay, our guys are going out there. I'm not sure this technique is working. Yeah, we just lost a dude. Okay, you know what? Shagrub, we're going to activate you. Yeah, we're going to uh, switch leader. Okay, we're going to shoot with you. F is shoot, by the way. C7 from the Discord told me that. Oh, just a little bit out of range. Okay, hold on. Okay, F for fire. Oh, why can't we... Is there a door here? Okay, we're going to... Yeah, why can't we shoot this? Is there a door here? Is that what the... The door is closed? Okay, hold on. Let's see what happens. Oops, let's see what happens. Is the dragon beating up our door? Okay, I'm going to lock this door. And then that way he has to beat it up and break it down so our minions can stop throwing themselves at him. I really wish... There were a way for me to say, hey, we're in the middle of the battle, stop repairing things. Let's see if he beats on that door. And I think when we're done, I'm going to put eyes in here. So that we can see what's going on outside our door. Okay, I don't hear him beating on the door. Like, what is happening out there? Let's see, let's take Rock, the werewolf, 
He's pretty good. Yeah, let's switch leader to Rock the Werewolf and bring Rock right over here. Rock is lost in the noise here. There we are. Oh, there's the dragon. Okay, doors open. Okay, now we can actually go back to Shagrub. Okay, she, she... Oh, wow, this piece of wall is taken out? Okay, we're gonna cancel that. Okay, here we go. Hmm. It does appear... Let's see. Uh, regenerating. Okay. Okay, we did some damage. Now, is Shagrub one of our super... I don't, I don't care, actually. Hit it. Go. Okay. Uh, Shagrub is okay. Okay, Barbu the Vampire is in bad shape, but that's okay. Oh boy, you're going down, Langus. Langus, Jukula, or Sardal. We destroyed them! We hear a heavy boulder rolling. Okay, let's exit control mode. We captured that dragon. And we killed clones of himself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, now we've got this red dragon as a prisoner. We can pillage him. Uh, these are <laughs> these are our things. Except maybe this, this Archwood Staff of Escape. That's not one of ours. That must have been his. And a Sword of Poison? Did we have this? These are some good weapons. Okay, and we'll take that 93 gold pieces. We are trouncing right now. We have leveled. We got a ton of experience there. We'll deal with research in a moment. What's this over here? A vulgar sonnet from one of our poor departed minions. We did lose a couple people. We are going to acquire another shaman because they're always good. And then we're going to go back to normal speed. Ah! And we'll let... Oh, oh yeah, you're our new shaman. Okay. We'll let them do their thing. I want to get back up here and create... You know what? I'm just going to acquire these harpies. Yeah, we're going to take all three of these. Let's go on fast. And I acquired the harpies. Now I'm going to go up here and try to build some rooms for them. These these This wood is being chopped down. Not that it really matters. Uh, let's do... I can break down this wall later. I'll replace it with hard rock. Why don't we put hard rock here? And actually, hold on. Take that out there. We'll put in a door. Oh, wait. Hold on. Take out that door. We can't build that yet anyway. Uh, we'll do this. This is going to be one set of quarters. I'm going to lay down some quarters for our new Harpy recruits, and then I will see you in a moment. Welcome back. I have, as you can see, finished the airy. So we have now recruited all of the available Super Harpies and given them each a room. We expanded out here. I'm, I'm going to leave these green walls because it doesn't hurt and they look pretty. Obviously, we've got Clarice has some work to do here with, uh, and you can see her doing it. She's painting some of these canvases. We have a little uh, area for each of our new harpies, and we left this exposed to the air because harpies like to be able to fly. So now they can stand out here. And actually, I made little posts because if you've ever seen a uh, a raptor bird. They like to stand up on high branches looking for prey. So now each of these harpies can look out over all of this forest looking for prey. Uh, they of course have their bird baths and all that sort of stuff. And this one even has a tree in her room. Uh, we also have warned uh, anybody that comes here to be aware of bird droppings. So that's important. You know, say in case somebody lands here, we don't want them to get poop on their feet. Let's see. The next thing that I did, if we go down to level uh, or ground level, was I added a eye here so that when somebody is at our door, right outside this door, we can actually see them. I am thinking about maybe putting some others in. Oh, and I realize now I need to put in some, need to fix this stone uh, because the that dragon took it out, that red dragon took it out. So I haven't made any changes on this level. I've just been assigning rooms to any new recruits and we did get a few new recruits we got some new shaman if we go down a level i did go over here and with our laboratory i created 510 gold for us in fact i did more than that because we needed some for the uh for the carpets for the new harpy areas so that used uh, several thousand uh it's uh three to one if we look here it's three to one so it used 1500 
or so. And then we can create whatever we want out of gold. Uh, but we're not going to... Well, not whatever we want. Oh, uh, no. We, not whatever we want. We can't create a Doxium or Infernite. Gracie, Gracieja being our crafter. But I also enabled all of our Super Harpies to be able to do it as well. Because otherwise it takes too long to make the gold. Although, now that I have said that, I'm going to undo that. Because I don't want them doing it unless they have to. And the only time we would need that is if we were in a rush for gold. And we won't be. So we're going to mostly have... Or, I mean, we might be later. But uh, we'll have Gracieja make any potions or whatever. Because she's got higher alchemy skills. So here's one of our new Super Harpies training up. That's kind of all I have to report. Oh, we'll take this extra head in riding a steed. Oh, and we'll definitely take this werewolf. Okay, so that's that's it. Uh, kind of an exciting episode. I'm going to be cutting it up, obviously, so you're not going to see all of the grunt work that I did up on, on mostly on the airy. But uh, we'll be back soon. In fact, hold on, hold on. Let's go find. Let's keep an eye on Clarice. She's making more scrolls because she's really she's a she's a writer at heart. We can once again do another level up. Please offer in the comment sections any suggestions you have. I know advanced alchemy can be really really helpful. But I don't really know that much about it. I know this because Taro Operas gave, gave me some suggestions. I don't think we need to do cow breeding because we can we have a big enough population. I think magic weapons came in second. And I actually would like to do that. I don't know. Anyway, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for your viewership and support. And all those people who've been commenting and voted in the poll. I love you very much. Please remember, because you love your pets, to have them spayed or neutered.